the purpose of the CPR is to restore basic vital functions. Too late CPR leads to irreversible changes in the brain. Remember, you have only 4 minutes after this time the brain of the victim dies. Make sure that both you and the injured person are safe. Remember about gloves. Check if the victim is conscious. Grab the victim by the shoulder and gently shake and ask aloud how are you feeling or what happened. If he does not react, call out loud for help. Clear the airways by bending the head and raising the mandible. Assess with your eyes, hearing and touch whether there are at least two correct breaths. Observe the movements of the chest and epigastric region. Check the airflow and respiratory murmurs at the level of the mouth and nose of the rescued person, sensing it on your cheek. Spend no more than 10 seconds on the mentioned activities. When you find that the victim is out of breath, call an ambulance or appoint a person to call for help. Provide 30 compressions to a depth of about 5-6 cm. Do it without breaks, with a frequency of at least 100 compressions per minute. Do not exceed 120 per minute. Then bend the victim's head and tighten the wings of the nose to take two correct rescue breaths so that the victim's chest rises. If you have no mask or in a situation when you are worried about giving rescue breaths, then provide chest compressions. Continue the CPR until Signs of life in the injured person return The arrival of qualified assistance Exhaustion of the rescuer's forces The appearance of an external threat for the injured person or rescuer